Today we have a fast charging outlet with PD and QC technology. It handles higher power and allows a range of devices to charge quickly over the USB connection. It has tamper resistant design to avoid electric shock. Now the water outlet is rated for 15 amp, 125 volt, 60 hertz. Here we see the two ports, USB A, QC 3.0 fast charge, I'll give you know what it's saying. And also we have a PD charger and this one is USB C. Now that's your hot wire, that's your neutral and your ground. If you look at right in the side, the gold one is your hot, and you see the hot there, and the silver one is your neutral. Now remember, uh, before you're going to install this in your house, make, make sure you cut down your power and always use some type of meter or some type of uh, multimeter to make sure the power is off before you replace it. But I want to show you something here. I got one. I just plug it in. And we can check. I'm going to check the USB-C. And we can see right away that we have the 5 volts. And it's rated, by the way, up to 5 amp. And technically, you can charge almost any device that requires USB from tablets, from uh, phone, or anything that uses a USB charge. So now, now for charging, we have two ways to charge your phone or your devices. One way is using the QC, or known as a uh, Q charge, or the new standard for power delivery, known as PD. Now, a lot of the new devices it supports PD, so power on delivery it depends the phone. It can draw as much up to 100 watt. If that will be the case, this phone it will not draw 100 watt. So we can charge a QC, and normally what you do, you will use a USB cable like this one. In this case, we have a C. And we charge on the phone. I could charge my uh, iPad through USB-A, right? So we see that charging, and it charges pretty fast. But if you want to even charge it faster and better, then we're going to use the PD. But there is one thing, very important than that. Common mistake we do, and I tend to do that too, we have this, and sometimes what we did, we use an adapter. So. I'm going to go from A to C, and I'm going to plug in into the PD. Well, that's fine. It's going to charge my phone. Now, there is a big difference. Now, the USB-C, C to C, has a resistor, and it has a way. They will tell you the device that what you plug it in is a power delivery. It means the cable, this cable is able to draw up to 5 amp. When I plug this cable, it has N, A, and C here. There is no signal. It's mixing the, the signal cable. They will tell this device on my phone. says, okay, he's plug in into a power delivery, so let's draw as much power we need so we can charge faster. So in a way, if I use this, so an adapter or regular, uh, like USB-C to A, it's not going to do it. So very important, if you want to be use the PD, make sure you use the right cable. Like this, and it's very known too. They sometimes companies put the run this resistor inside this cable, and then you don't get the benefits of PD. So make sure you buy a good quality cable that will be able to use uh, PD. Like in this case, now I'll be able to charge your phone real fast. So if you're looking for an outlet, they will replace your. O1 and now you get plus the USB and the different this one has a USB uh, QC 3.0 that's a fast charge together with the PD that will be for your uh, USB-C. Thank you.